What's going on YouTube? It's been a little bit. So back to a basic simple video really quick that I've honestly had questions over time and I, I thought while I'm doing it why not make a quick video on it because it's very common and for the people that watch my channel come over here for just like the basic maintenance needs and the stuff as far as like uh, just common stuff not you know the the modified and stuff like that uh, this could be helpful or someone just learning so figured like I said through these CRVs, uh, yes, I'm taking my time. I do have a lot for the more modified guy, modified people that are very interested in the lifted and everything. Uh, tons of that is coming, trust me. I have parts over there. Uh, just body's got to heal and things like that. So I'm doing little things while I can. So um, basically, what we're doing here this time is I am upgrading the brake lights, the LED brake lights, and also brake lights that flash for my wife's. Um, this may be overkill to some people. Some people may hate it. Some people only like doing the third brake light. Like I have LED bulbs that were already in my CRV for the brake light, so I just did the third brake light. Um, but normally, whenever those die, I will just do all the brake lights, and that's how all my cars are going to be from now on. Because with drivers and the amount of people not paying attention nowadays on their phones and everything. I feel when these things flash, it gets people's attention and it helps a little bit from getting rear-ended. So I'd rather my family be safe than sorry. If it bugs you, then I'm sorry, too bad. It's not bright enough to like blind you or kill your eyes. It's just to get your attention. So if you hear people saying that, they can get over that. Now, what you might want to do is make sure it's legal in your, your state. Uh, there's nothing that I could find in my state or the state that I work in that is um, anything against it. So I could be missing, but I don't, and I've never been told, and I've had them before in my prior vehicles. So basically, in your brake light, which I will also teach you how to take off the tail lights here, in your brake light, your brake light bulb, and all three brake lights that are gonna come standard in the rear rear CRV, passenger driver side in the middle, it is a 7440 bulb. And you can see that on the bulb, and I'll also show you, I'm not sure in the third brake light piece if it tells you, I did not see it, maybe I'm missing it, but on the tail light, it also tells you your reverse bulb, your brake light bulb, and your blinker bulb, which is really nice. It tells you the number right on the actual casing of the tail light. Um, and I'm gonna be upgrading her reverse lights to brighter reverse lights, because let's face it, if you guys have a first gen CRV, you know how much the reverse lights really suck being up that high. I do eventually plan on doing the LED pods, down in the bumper to a switch for both my CRVs, uh, for hers and mine, so that way you can hit that switch or either put it into the actual reverse switch. Uh, that way it clicks on when you're in reverse and shines a little bit brighter. Uh, for those that off-road know that and just daily driving too, they, they generally suck because they're so high up and not very bright. So this is a 921 bolt. You can see it on there now. On this video, you probably won't see it too well. But if you look, you can see some of the writing right there. Um, so that's a smaller bulb. What I am upgrading it with is the 7440 LED bulbs. All three of these are going to go in there. Basically plug and play, just like the other one. This is a little bit of a tight fit in your third brake light bulb. Uh, it might crack the little piece of plastic on the side a little uh, that fits the bulb in there. That's kind of just the price you pay. It doesn't stop anything from fitting in there nice. It doesn't stop um, it from fitting and turning in there or holding in there and working and functioning. It's just that plastic is designed for this. This end and this end is just a tad bit, I'm talking like a smidge uh, bigger. Uh, and that's just some bulbs. Some of the aftermarket bulbs are like that. Some of the other ones are perfect fit. Uh, th this is a cheaper set of bulbs and uh, they're off eBay. They work really well, I've had them, but uh, they're, they're nothing to, to write home about, but I have never had an issue with them other than that. This is the Oxido uh, brand, if I'm saying that right, uh, which is terrible, because I am actually sponsored by them, and if you go on my uh, Instagram page, you can actually find a discount where I believe you get 10% off. It's been a while since I looked on there, uh, and this is actually for the reverse bulbs and if you look back here the product specifics it tells you it's 12 volt white fit for socket and it fits a 906 bulb a 912 bulb a 921 w16 wt15 etc 
Uh, so however your bulb is labeled, look for that and you would actually, you know, get the one you need. Now these are pretty bright. I uh, have used these in the past compared to what uh, the stock is. Those are how those look. I will be showing you again how to put these in. Uh, it's very simple. So let's get to it. All right. Follow me. All right, guys. So we're walking right over to the taillights here and the third brake light. Forgive me because I got some stuff around here. I'm also doing a roof rack today. My wife's got some stuff in the back of her, so we're just going to bear with that. But we're going to go ahead and open this up. And you can see the roof rack I'm getting ready to put on to. So I'm going to try to do this in one hand because I don't have anything to set up really right now. Um, like I said out last video, I'm working on that soon. So you could do this with a Phillips head, but I advise you not to because you can end up stripping it. And it's just a real pain in the ass. What you want to get is a ratchet of any size, basically, as long as you have the right extension. Uh, you don't even really need the extension, but it makes it a little bit better so you're not scraping your taillight. And you're going to want a 8mm socket. Let's see if I can show that right there. 8mm socket. The 8mm is going to fit perfectly. And you're just going to loosen all these. And pull them right out. Let's loosen them all. What I, what I like to do is once I got them loose, I can start loosening them by hand easier if they're not catching. So what I do is I pop my extension off, hold it just like this, and I use this with my hand. They usually have a little grippy part too that's kind of helps. And I just pull them out. So there you go. It's just a little screw. We're going to put them right here. It's three on each side. There we go. All three are out. Put that down. Okay, now here's the tricky part for some people. It's not too hard. Uh, you can get a grip right up here. It's kind of a little bit more pain in the ass, but you can get a small flat head in there as long as you're easy and you don't want to break that. But what I find easier is down here, if you look, has a little cubby that you can get up in behind there and pull it right out. And to me, that's much easy, easier. And then you don't really have to do this step. You can change the bulb right here if you want, but I find it much easier to basically, you have this little clip right here, and this clip holds in the actual piece of your taillights where it's plugged in. And what you're gonna do is right down there, forgive the cobwebs, you see that little piece, little clip? You're gonna push up on it, if I can get it with one hand, it's hard, there we go. Push up on it and pull. You're just gonna pull it forward. So see, right there, that piece, you push that little clip in, see right there? And then what it was, was clipped to this little plastic bracket. Now you're gonna wanna bend this bracket back on this little nub right there when you put it in together, but trust me, it's not as hard as it looks. So then, now you got your tail light free, you can change everything, but I'm gonna pull this out to show you guys and how you pull it out is just push the plug right there. I got again one hand, so bear with me. And pull them apart when you're holding that plug. Okay. So, reason why I pulled this out, one, it just makes it easier. Two, I wanted to show you. So, for your blinker bulb up there, do you see where it says a 7440? That tells you exactly what you need in 21 watt. Then you go down here. And that's a 7443, which, sorry, I may have said 7440, but the brake light bulb is a 7443. Not sure if I said that earlier. If I did, I've corrected myself now. Hopefully you watched all the way through this. I'll put an edit in there. Then for your reverse light bulb, it should tell you 921 right there. So basically, that's telling you the bulb you need in case you're not sure and can't get to 
I would say the internet or you know a auto parts store that can look it up for you so and then how to do this again doing this with one hand and a messed up wrist so bear with me you turn it and you'll see these little nubs on each end and that basically shows you how to do it and this is pretty much the same across the board for most taillights on any vehicle and again you can see right there where it says 921 on the bulb so that tells you we're going to open up this pack. We're going to dump them out right here. And then what you want to do is make sure you have the right side connecting on what it was. And when I pulled it out, I'm pretty sure I left it. But this is why we always try it too before you finalize and put everything in. So let's see. So it looks like it was on the left side, which this is. So that's the inside of the socket, guys. And you just take that end and you slide it right in there. Bam. Then you're going to put it back in the hole. And you're going to line it up back with the little nubs like I told you and lock it in place. So we're going to go with the brake light bulb now. Again, sorry for one hand. I know some of you guys are going to be yelling in the comments, but hey, I don't have a cameraman with me right now and I got a fucked up wrist. So, doing what I can. Alright, so we're going to pull that bulb out. You might have to shimmy side to side a little bit. You can see those bulbs are pretty old. They still work, but you can see they're pretty burnt. And uh, yeah, they're on their way out pretty soon so we're gonna pop this one in again there's the socket there's the end and always plug this in and try these out once you uh, got them back in just so in case you gotta pull it and you know reverse the bulb around it really sucks trust me don't ask me how I know bolting everything up and then having to take it all back off so, we're going to plug this back in. First, kind of blew all that pine needle and dust off there. So, we're going to plug this back in. Hold one hand here. Lined it up. And you should just be able to push it in there really hard. Sometimes you might have to push the... Uh, Let's do this. Sometimes you might have to push the, yeah. So in this one, you have to push the uh, latch again to pop it back in. Some, they have a little latch in there. It pops itself out when you're pushing it in but not pulling it out. This one does not. So I'm going to line it back up with this. Push that back down on the nub. If I can line it up here again. There we go. So see that? I lined it back up on the, the nub, and then we're going to slide it back in here. Because at this point, it won't be too hard to just go ahead and switch it. Now, hopefully, I can check and see if I'm able to. Okay, we got it reverse. So we can see the reverse light is working now. Look how much brighter that is. Not sure if you guys can see that because I'm just by myself right now. See the light flash, so the brake light is working. Okay, so I will show you when it's all said and done. But pretty much to get your tail light back in, let's go over this way. You're gonna want to line these two little nubs up with their hole. Uh, I don't think I can see that one too well. It's right there. So as long as you get these lined up, which is pretty easy. You're just gonna push it in place and you'll feel it pop right in. And then you're gonna wanna take your screws that you pulled out. I find it a little bit easier because it's deep in there to put them back on the actual socket and thread them in by hand. So again, guys, sorry for one hand. But it is what it is.
this one's a little bit easy by hand because it's not it's a lot more shallow okay all right guys i'll show you the finished project here or the finished uh product here in a few minutes and uh we'll do the third brake light also okay so we got all three brake lights done go ahead and hit the brakes bud there we go now you can see there we go so pretty easy not too hard at all i'm just knocking over my stuff and you can hit those brake lights and see them again and then they stay on for a minute they'll flash again when you hit it they'll only flash i think three or four times and uh yeah simple upgrade uh for your safety for the way people drive nowadays and always everybody's distracted i figured that help guys so if you have any questions just hit me up in the comment again no it's a simple video but hopefully it helps